Yes, I just want to say I'm especially excited about this Stoicon. I had the pleasure to uh, speak at a live Stoicon, uh, the one in Milwaukee a couple of years ago, and then an online version of that regional Stoicon last year. But to be part of this grand, you know, international, global Stoicon is really, truly a thrill to me. You know, I look, I've seen the list of speakers, the speaker panelists, and just I can hardly wait for this. For any of you who are new to Stoicism, I think you have a real treat on hand because as you'll see, you know, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to have a PhD in philosophy to just be amazed by the, the insights you're going to find because the Stoics have something to say uh, to all of us. And so, so even though I'm going to be a participant just on a panel answering perhaps a question here and there, I'm really look forward to, uh, looking forward to absorbing all these lessons and so many other uh, Stoics. So, uh, so I hope to see you uh, at least virtually on uh, October the 9th for this Stoicon. Also, I'll just say too, a through my course of familiarity with the Stoics, you know, early on, they were so powerful to me because they helped me rein in emotions. You know, some people will say the Stoics helped me to control anger or whatever their issue is. For me, it was more like fears, public speaking, uh, anxiety, tendencies towards depression. I found them so, so powerful in helping me keep a, a, a tranquil mind. But as the years go by too, and I know we're seeing a greater emphasis on this today, and for good reason, the Stoics aren't all about what's going on inside us. They're also about the way we relate to one another, cooperate with each other, help each other. The Stoics have wonderful lessons there, growing from we're building these virtues within our own souls to pass them on and to help build up each other. So I think the Stoics are have wonderful lessons for all of us today when we tend to be so fractured with different political parties, with different religions or people who don't have religious views. I find the Stoics have so much common ground in our fundamental humanity, you know, male, female, for, for all of us. There are wonderful Stoic lessons there. So again, part of the reason I'm so excited uh, about this upcoming Stoicon. Okay, and, and to me, you know, I find the Stoics have so many interconnections with a variety of religious uh, faiths and beliefs. Not that a person has to be a believer to derive great benefit from the Stoics, but I know there, there are Buddhists out there writing about the Stoics. I am, my, personally have a Catholic background. And I was delighted to find that many of the great Catholic medieval theologians and philosophers, they called them the scholastics because they taught in the great universities, University in Paris and so on. Many of them embraced the lessons of the Stoics, uh, particularly St. Thomas Aquinas, uh, other, other great Dominican figures who had kind of an intellectual basis, this order founded by St. Dominic, whose motto was the truth. So many of these great medieval writers particularly reference Seneca because he wrote in Latin, you know, and as, as sons of the church in, in Europe, that was their prime language. So you will find Seneca praised and praised uh, throughout this medieval uh, writings of the church. And then if you go back earlier centuries, in the early, what they call the church fathers, many of them wrote in Greek, there you're also going to find high praise of the, the writings and the actual persons of people like uh, Epictetus and Musonius Rufus. So to me, it's just it's just wonderful how people, the Stoics can bring people of multiple traditions together. And for people who do hold even, even faith, uh, they can hold great lessons for us. Because St. Thomas is one of the champions of uh, the way that reason and faith ideally should cooperate. And the Stoics achieve great heights uh, using human reason. So there's lessons there. For, should be lessons there for anyone, regardless of their religious faith.